I'll be honest with you guys. I wasn't a huge Kendrick fan at first. It wasn't until the whole beef with Drake that I started to pay attention to his music and realizing how much depth he brings to the table. Since then, I've taken a dive into his discography. And one album that really resonates with me is Damn, which in my opinion is Kendrick's best album. Its ability to not only appeal to the casual hip-hop fans, but also appeal to the diehard hip-hop fans. But here's the thing. As much as I love the album, I've noticed that certain tracks don't get the same love as others. Songs like DNA, Humble, and Love are often celebrated for their energy and relatability, but others like Lust seem very overlooked and even discredited as the worst song on the album. And that's a shame, because Lust is one of the most profound tracks on the album. It's a subtle yet powerful critique on modern life, human behavior, and routines, and the routines that we all live in. So today, I want to get a closer look at Lust, why it's such a vital piece off Damn, and why it needs to be more appreciated as one of Kendrick's most insightful commentaries hey guys just a little warning that since this video does get on topic of substance abuse and sex if you don't want to hear about that just click off the video but if you're fine with it then let's just continue watching the video all right thanks lusk starts off with an eerie ambient soundscape that sets the tone for the introspective nature of the track it gives off this feeling of like being lost and as the bass and percussion elements start to kick in, Kendrick starts off the song with this. I need some water. Something came over me. Way too hot to simmer down. Might as well overheat. Too close to comfort. Kendrick talks about the sudden, uncontrollable emotion that he's feeling currently and how he needs some water holy water for kendrick the situation is too much for him to handle as lust pulls him back to unhealthy cycles and to his breaking point here kendrick tells us what the uncontrollable nature or feeling is it's lust his heartbeat races like a junkie's because lust and substance abuse are often addicting that can destabilize and control someone. This is why Kendrick asks the person who's having intercourse with, am I asking too much? Is this too much for you to handle? Let me put the head in. This moment highlights the attempt of balancing between desire, consent, and respect. This goes through the battle of temptation versus boundaries, respect, and control. For me, it highlights that people go through addictions by just saying one more or just a touch. By telling yourself just one more or just a touch, you're setting yourself up to start an addicting cycle. Kendrick calls up the listener to put their hands up, which can either mean, let me get your attention or surrender to the moment. Then he gets cut off by the sample in which the original sample sounded like this. A little side note here, but there's a crazy story about the sample. Rap Boy, the musician who made the original song, has stated that the song is based off a true story of him being held hostage in a recording studio because of some loan sharks. Back to Lust though, Kendrick makes fun of people by saying this is that new new shit because people would go back to old patterns as soon as new things get hard for them. Wake up in the morning, think about money, kick your feet up. Watch you a comedy, take a shit, then roll some weed up. Go hit you a lick, go oh fuck on the bitch, don't go to work today. Cop you a fit or maybe some kicks and make it. Kendrick talks about a regular cycle of a man who's lazy and ambitious, who thinks about money and wealth, but does actions that are meaningless. This includes watching comedies, taking a shit, smoking weed, making quick money, and, of course, sexual intercourse instead of setting up his future the man clearly falls into a repetitive cycle of quick pleasure and escapism this is especially true when kendrick repeats this in other parts of the song wake up in the morning thinking about money kick your feet up watch you a comedy hold up 
Wake up in the morning thinking about money, kick your feet up Watch you a comedy, take a shit, then roll some weed up Go hit you a lick, go fuck on a bitch, don't go to work today Cop you a fit of maybe some kicks and make it work today Hang with the homies, stun on your baby mama, sip some lean Go get a pistol, shoot out the window, bet your favorite team Play you some Madden, go to the club or your mama house Whatever you're doing, just make it I count some water. Repeating the previous verse, Kendrick finishes by saying make it work today As in, do whatever you want Kendrick then describes the rest of the cycle, hanging around with your friends, showing off your girlfriend, literally drinking lean, being frustrated, gambling, and escaping reality. Finally, he ends off the verse with make it count, because at the end of the day, you have to make it worth it until you do it again tomorrow. Wake up in the morning thinking about money, kick your feet up Hop in the shower, put on your makeup, lace your weave up Touch on yourself, call up your nigga, tell him he ain't shit Credit card scam, get you a visa, make it pay your rent Hop on the ground, flex on the bitches that be hating on you Pop you a pill, call up your bitches, have them waiting on you Go to the club, have you some fun, make that ass bounce It's whatever, just make it I count need some water. Instead of a lazy, ambitious man This takes the perspective of a lazy, ambitious woman Who has to compete with beauty standards via makeup she then discredits her man and starts scamming people to live in society or to have a roof over her head. She's also controlled by the gram or Instagram that symbolizes social media forcing her to put on a facade to feel superior. Oh, you're popping pills now? You're trying to escape reality by going to the club and shaking ass. But hey, at the end of the day, you have to make it worth it until you do it again tomorrow. I wake in the morning, my head spinning from the last night. Both in the trance, feelings are dead. What a fast life. Manager calls, the lobby call is 11.30. Now, this goes into the perspective of Kendrick, who's waking up late for his job. He also realizes that he can't handle the fast life that he's living, and so that kills his emotions. He did this before, I promised myself I'd be an hour early. Room full of clothes, back full of money, call it loose change. Bump on my jewelry, 100k, I lost a new chain. Hop on a bird, hit the next city for another M. Take me a nap, then do it again. Crazy enough, this version of Kendrick shows that even the wealthy can follow pursuit of living in endless cycles. He promised himself to be an hour early, but can we be surprised here? Everyone that lives in these cycles often breaks promises to themselves. Anyways, Kendrick goes on to fly and make money for travel and work. Then he gets tired, takes a nap, and sets himself to do it again tomorrow. We all woke up, trying to tune to the daily news. Looking for confirmation, hoping election wasn't true. All of us worried, all of us buried in our feelings deep. None of us married to his proposal, make us feel cheap. Stale and sad, distraught mad, tell a neighbor about it. Bet they agree, parade the streets with your voice proudly. Time passed and things changed, reverting back to our daily program, stuck in our ways. Lost. This first represents the disparity of elections every four years. That's the cycle of it itself. Society would overreact and have an intense amount of motions across the first few days. We literally talk about it with our friends, peers, neighbors, and teachers as other people riot in the streets. However, as time passes, that emotional intensity, it'll be gone. And we'll be back in our old reparative cycles anyways. This is kind of funny because we just had an election like a, f a couple of weeks ago and this verse literally reminds me of how it played out i mean we have the emotional intensity and then now people stop talking about the election <laughs> Lately, I feel like I've been lusting over the fame. Lately, we lust on the same routine of shame. Lately, 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 my lust been heightened. Lately, lately, it's all contradiction. Lately, I'm not here. Lately, I lust over self. Lust turn into fear. Lately, in James 4 4, it says, Friend of the world is enemy of the Lord. Break yourself. Lust is all you. With a wicked guitar playing in the background, Kendrick talks about how he feels like he has a growing obsession with fame and how both Kendrick and the listener are all part of endless loops of everyday life. He feels disconnected and fearful of himself as he refers to a verse in the Bible. James 4.4 4 states that the friend of the world is the enemy of the Lord, meaning that people who live based off the world, filled with envy and greed, do not please God. Kendrick ends off the verse by saying, Lust is all yours, because at the end of the day, we all inherit this powerful, deadly sin and need to be responsible for where we put ourselves in. Something came over me. Lust isn't just a song about desire. It's a, it's a reflection of the routines and impulses that control us. From the personal struggle with fame and the indulgence to societal 
cycles of conformity. Kendrick Lamar crafts a narrative that challenges all of us to confront our patterns of behavior. This song is honestly a brutal reality check, as all of us can relate to being stuck in loop cycles every day. Especially in an era filled with temptation, accessibility, and conformity, Kendrick's message feels especially relevant. The song serves as a reminder that breaking free from these cycles requires accountability and willingness to step out of your comfort zone. So, what's holding us back? Why are we stuck in these cycles and just do it for days, weeks, months, and even years? Maybe that's the challenge that Kendrick Lamar presents us with this song. To stop lusting over what's temporary and start seeking what truly lasts.